Hello, people. Hello, and welcome to the standpoint. Today, I have a personality for you. You, you if, in fact, you would love to hate her, but you can't. And you hate to love her. That one is fine. She's an amazing young woman. I call her the restless soul. In fact, that was before I got to meet her and I understood the kind of person she is. She's traveled such a journey and every single one of it has culminated into who she is becoming because she's a woman in flight, a woman on the move, a woman of power. You'll be amazed, you'll be blown away. My guest today, her, if you don't know her, well, I understand because we've all gone through that. You only get to know us because of what you read about us in the media and what you see on TV. Today, it's up and close and personal with the one and only Mimi and Danny Michaels. Let me say thank you to DTP for my cloth. My dress is by Ophelia Nyantechi, ABS collection. She's at Dansuman, near the runabout, you know. She used to sew for me during my GBC, early GBC days, and she's back, and I just love the stress. And this is GTP Adepa Dumas. Adepa Dumas. It's, it, it's such an amazing cloth. If you ever had a grandmother or you have a grandmother, ask her about Dumas, and she will tell you that when we talk about Intama cloth, those days, it was Dumas, and GTP is back with Adepa Duma, so don't miss out on it. I also like to say thank you to IES Boutique Online. You know, that's where my shoes, these days I'm wearing heels and I walk with them, they're so comfortable. Get in touch with them. And the young lady's looking for something to do, get in touch with her on social media, Facebook, Instagram, on Twitter, on LinkedIn. I mean, you, you, you just love to meet her and tell her that I said she should help you set up you know, a small business selling shoes, and she'll do so, exactly so for you. My makeup product is by Papa Cosmetics, as always, eight years and still supporting me. I'm so grateful to them. And my makeup beautifully applied by Nax Beauty Studio, the new kid on the block. We take a break. When we come back, we get to meet the one and only beautiful, exciting, amazing, annoying Mimi and Danny Michaels. We'll be back. Water is life. Enjoy the pure, refreshing taste of awake, purified drinking water, which comes in a uniquely designed bottle with a lemon green tap. Water is your perfect way to stay hydrated. And remember, for every bottle you buy, an amount will be donated to the National Cardiac Thoracic Center, Ghana. Awake, purified drinking water. One for life. For bulk purchase, contact 0262-351-251. Okay, people. Yes, yes, yes. You're about to meet Mimi and get to know her. Really get to know her like never before. But before then, let me say thank you to GTP. Um, they say that, hmm, listen, no. their style is ageless, patterns limitless, and designs are endless. That's GTP. Our beauty never fades. GTP, timeless. You know, like all my panelists, I can say that about, and I can say that about 
my panelists, my guests today. Her style is ageless. The pattern of her life is limitless. The designs that she changes are their creativity are endless. And her beauty never fails. Mimi and Danny Michaels, like GTP, still timeless. You should plan for me. <laughs> okay. And then again, I say thank you to Ghana Oil Goyle. Good energy. You know, yeah, yeah, dear. And when you pa and kasa, homegrown businesses, let's support it. Let's promote it because we've got what is good. Brand Ghana, here we go. Goyle, they have it all when it comes to fuel, when it comes to, you know, things you need, the oil for your car, whatever. Go to Goyle every time. Go Ghana, go Goyle. Okay, so my name remains on here, your gift auntie, and my guest today is Mimi and Danny Michaels. The and Danny, if I don't add it, <laughs> her father will be very unhappy with me. Now, she is a serial entrepreneur, branding expert, and business coach. Yes, the same Mimi we saw in Big Brother. We saw me uh, singing. You'll be amazed what she's doing now. But before then, let me acknowledge my audience today. They are from Abrantia College of Cosmetology and Fashion. They are at uh, Bachona on the Spinkters Road. But today, it's all about my baby girl, Mimi. Mimi, welcome to the standpoint. Thank you. I'm so honored. It's like I made it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you have made it, I've girl. I've made it. You have made it. But, Chick, <laughs> let me ask you. What is wrong with you? <laughs> I don't Why know. Why are you such a restless soul? I, I guess I was created like that. I, I don't think it's something that I learned to become, and I don't think that it's um, like a craft or something. I think it's inbuilt. Do you get easily bored with something? No, no, no. Yeah, okay, what it is, is I get easily bored with something not happening at the stipulated time I have created for whatever it is. So I don't have patience for failure and I don't have patience for pro procrastination and I don't have patience for slowliness. And that's just me. And basically, I'm just a risk So you taker. like things to happen when you want it? Yes, yes, yes. When I want it. And it has to. Let me ask you this <laughs> and get it out of the... When you came out with your album, The Tattoo, mm -hmm. Did you really do the tattoo? No, no, no. Was no, it no. real? No, no, it wasn't real. But you have tattoos? I, 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 I have tattoos, yes. I do have tattoos. I, I do have some stars because I believe I'm a born star. Mm. So I do have some stars. Those are real. But the tattoo in the video was not real. It was just creativity. It was just creativity. But did you know that you had music? Because you went to Big Brother, which we'll talk about later. You came out and you came into, you, you, you came out with an album. You went straight into music. It, was that something you really wanted to do or you just found out? No, I discovered it in the Big Brother house. And believe it or not, it's crazy, but I discovered a lot about myself in there. It was just an experiment for me. Like I said, I'm very curious. So I wanted to understand why somebody would put people in a house put cameras on them and, and then they don't know each other as well. But then they have to live a life where everyone is watching them. I wanted to experience that. I think that living there exposed me to a lot of things and I got to know myself better. Because you forget about the cameras and you are yourself. So it's like you are in the whole of Africa at the same place. There are so many people from different countries. You don't know them. But you are in there with them. So for me, it's like I'm in the whole of Africa in the same room. With the benefit of hindsight, would you still go to Big Brother? If I'm called tomorrow, I'll go. Really? I am not. Um, I'll go straight. Why? I would explore again. I would like to see what I'll be after all these years in there again. It's, it's amazing. I would like to see myself in there as, as an entrepreneur and not as... Mimi, then you know, I like to see how I can relate, how I can become. You know, after after chalking a lot of successes, you need sometimes you need to test yourself who you have become because you change when you are comfortable, when you have so much, when you have so many at so much achievements. Um, if you don't take care, you might re you might change without knowing that you have changed. So if I'm called to that, I would like to see how my reaction will be with the same situations now. 
then it will be different. I guess it will be different. I would like to see how I'm able to handle that. Well, you went to Big Brother House as who? I went to Big Brother House as a biochemist. I was working in an oil refinery as a chemist. So um, I went there Hold as on. a... <laughs> you were working with an oil refinery as a chemist. Yes, please. And you decided to go to Big Brother yes. for what? Fame? For... Okay. I think that um, when I was growing up, I, I, I wanted to be famous, but I didn't know what to be famous for. <laughs> so anything that would make me famous, I would have done it. Mm -hmm. I'm sure if those um, Instagram and those things were available, then I would have been Instagram queen or something. <laughs> <laughs> you know, then there was nothing like that. So the only escape was to enter Big Brother Africa. I think I wanted fame. I think I wanted to be a famous person because my family has traces of famous people, but not in creative arts. Okay. My family is famous for different things. And so I think that I, I just wanted to be famous. And I thought I had a very strong... But why didn't name. you want to be famous for um, being a biochemist? Like I told you initially, I wanted to be famous, but I didn't know no what for. for. So I just entered, okay, I'm coming in as a chemist. Yeah, right. If I become famous through being a chemist, I'm famous. If I become famous through, that is what is worrying the youth now, which we will come back to. Right. That is the problem I had. I wanted to be famous for nothing. And that is what is happening now. You want mm. to be famous for what? You don't know. So anything you want to be famous. But my luck is that then the internet and all that was not that strong. I would have destroyed myself then. Yeah. Not that wanting to be famous then was a good thing. It wasn't. It just turned out good for me. I'm lucky. You might not be lucky. So don't be listening to me and think that that is the way out. Like I said, we all get different results from behaviors we have. My results and your results could never be the same. Mm. But what I'm telling you can guide you. Did you tell your parents before you went to Big Brother? No. I didn't tell them. I just told them the final day when I had to sign the contract that I'm signing some contract to. Then they asked me to explain. You know, my parents didn't understand it, but they want to allow you to grow. They want to allow you to explore. You know, I'm from a family that allows you to explore. My mom is a Christian and my dad is a Muslim. And they That's are still together. Wow. So you can imagine what that means. It means they are your, open. Your, it's a, let me pray a, a bit. Is your mom the only wife of your father? Yes. The Muslim man? Yes. Yes. Wow. And he's an Andani. Will I get the opportunity of interviewing them someday? I, I, can, I can arrange that. My yes, mom, I would love that. They are still together as we speak. And every time I tell people, they are amazed. Like, your name is Andani. How? I'm saying, yes, my dad is just different. Like, he just decided not to. So, from that background, you can know that th these are things that they can allow you to explore, make your own mistakes, and learn from it. That's my dad's statement, and that's always has been my statement, because I learned it from him. Because mm. you have to make your own mistake. You need to be bold. You need to take risks. Make it, and then repair it yourself. Take responsibility. So... Like I said, from a family like that, I was allowed to explore. Oh. So I told they didn't understand what it was, but they were like, oh. they only got to understand when I got in there. They were like, this is crazy. They wouldn't have allowed me you if they know. understood it properly, yes. But they I, didn't understand Did they it. know that they had a crazy daughter? That I their think, daughter was crazy. I think if you have a child who is different, you know. No, no, no. This is not different. <laughs> this, is, this is crazy. They are but I'm kind of crazy. I know. My parents know I'm very, very... Cre uh, cre okay, I don't want to use that. Now you are investing me. I'm very, very different <laughs> and I'm very stubborn. As okay. in, I'm stubborn in making it. Like, I don't understand why somebody made it and I couldn't make it. Like, does the person has green blood cells or I don't know? I mean, if they can do it, then I can do it. I've always told my parents that I want to be one of the most richest women in the world. And they're like, this girl, they would just push, like you even say Ghana, world, and well, all that. I dream big, and that's the kind of child I've always been. I think that's also helped me. Okay, so now we know that you you trained as a biochemist. Yes. And uh, you were working with an oil company as a biochemist. You left, went to Big Brother House to be there. You were one of the, I think up to now, you're still one of those who stayed longest from yes, Ghana. Yes, yes, yes. stayed did, for seven I, Yes, I did. Seven weeks. Yes, I, yes, I, did, seven I weeks. did well. And then you came back. I played them. You played them. I played them. <laughs> you came back. But I got caught. That's why. I, they realized I was playing them. They said, no, we have to suck it. She's playing all of us. 
<laughs> and then you came back and released an album. Let me take a break when we come back. I'd want to know a bit about your growing up, okay. your childhood. And maybe from there we can understand who you have become now, yes. which is a blowing my mind, you know? <laughs> but before you go, you need to sign a check for me. Oh. <laughs> You're right. watching The Standpoint. My guest today is Mimi and Danny Michaels, the woman with so many, so many sides to her. She calls herself a serial entrepreneur. And when we come back, you get to know why she described it's apt. I mean, I totally agree that she is a serial entrepreneur, a TV station in the making, a farmer, a business advertising company. Small girl, where is she going? We'll be back. When cleaning your vehicle by valeting, steaming, waxing, or polishing, make sure the engine is also sound. Servicing your vehicle with gold synthetic oil and any quality gold oil massages the engine, removes deposit, protects it from wear and tear for longer lasting performance, and makes your vehicle fuel pumped. Made for diesel and super engines. Remember, after every 15,000 kilometers of enjoying your ride, service your engine with gold synthetic oil. Go well, you're a champion. That's why I, Azuma Nelson, three times world boxing champion and a patriot, always choose Goel. Ashinipankasa. Goel, good energy. New at Depa Dumas from GTP, the name we know and trust. Premium quality fabrics with a smoother feel. New designs and richer colors. New at Depa Dumas for the woman who knows her worth. GTP, quality fabrics printed in Ghana. GTP, timeless. Thank you very much. Thank you for staying with us. And I'm sure if you missed the early part of it, I'm mean, somebody just called you to say, hey, tune in. Mimi is on, on the standpoint on Joy Prime. I mean, well, don't worry. You can always get to watch it again on YouTube, on our YouTube channel. You can also get to watch it if you're outside this country on ABN TV or Sky Channel 195, which is across Western Europe, part of Canada and Asia. It is also on Virgin TV on Channel 842, which is in UK. Our website, www.thestandpoint.com.gh, is powered by Dream Over, and we are so grateful to them. The Standpoint is also supported by Gogot Yogurt. Um, today, um, I don't have it here. Mimi says she doesn't, but she will have to taste it when she's going. Okay. And then Awake Purified Mineral Water by Casa Preco. And then, of course, Royal Drinks as well. We are so grateful to all of them. Thank you to House of Foods, to Daddy Cool Pastries, Cake Technique. We are so, so, so grateful. I mean, Daddy Cool in June, you don't want to miss the whole of June. We are celebrating only men, men who are doing amazing things in support of women. So you don't want to miss any, any episode of The Standpoint in June. And in fact, you shouldn't miss any episode any other day anyway. So we are grateful to all of them. Yep, cleaning services make sure that our, our environment is very, very clean. Mimi, how was it like growing up? Where did you grow up anyway? Okay, so I grew up both in Tamale and in Kumasi, but most parts of my life, I'm a Kumasi girl. Okay. And so that's why when I speak to you, most people think 
ah, oh, country like my tree is so on point it's because right. I was born and birthed in Kumasi. Oh, okay. So okay. I attended even when I was in a Girls, I was coming from. Oh, so you went to a Girls yeah, 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 school? Yeah. Okay. So I was coming from um, Kumasi so to a Bri, actually. Mm -hmm. So I've always been a Kumasi girl, and growing up, I've always been a leader. I've been a school prefect throughout. Wow. Yes, yes. Okay. Um, I, I'm also very this thing in the brain. So you don't have to tell us. You are very intelligent. <laughs> yeah. you, you need so, to be intelligent to be who you are. And I, where you are. I, I, I was a school prefect in primary, JSS, and all that. I've always been a school prefect. Did Just that know? when I went to Ebri Girls, I couldn't become a, a school prefect because Charlie, me meet me meet us. It be fee he not rich lies. You know, almost fifty schools be not my being. Yeah, yeah, but then. Yeah. yeah, I've always been a leader. Growing up was interesting, like yeah. I said. I had parents who are too religion. Yeah. So at a point, I was a Muslim. Then later, I became a Christian. So I've experienced both. both. I can actually read the Quran and everything because I had to. Beginning, my dad had a lot of control because he was stable. So we went to Makaranta and all that. So I can recite the Quran to a point. And I used to be able to speak and understand Arabic. But then when my dad started traveling a lot, then my mom got her grip on us. Okay. Because then he had to be going for treks. He was a okay. commercial bank and a manager at commercial bank. And he had to be moving all through. So my mom now got a grip of us and started taking us to okay. church. That's how my father lost all of us to being Christians. None of us are. He's the only Muslim in the house. house. How many are you? We are four. Four. He's the only Muslim in the house. It's so funny. And his father... Who says woman of their power? <laughs> yes. And yes. your yes. mom, what does your mom do? My mom also worked at commercial bank, so she's retired. They bet at commercial bank. Hey. <laughs> so, yes, my, 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 my siblings are all out of school now. Do you believe in love? Love? I, I, yes, I do believe in love, but... You know, when, when you depend so much on the word love, it will be difficult for you to be in the institution of marriage for me. Because in marriage, sometimes you lose the love. Mm. So when the love is gone, what holds you together? But Mimi, for what your mother and your father, they've been married for how long? Forever. <laughs> like since, since, since. Your since. oldest is how old? I'm the oldest. Okay, so yes, I'm 36. 36. So yes. let's say over 36 years. Yes. From different religions. Yes. Precious from family. Yes. And David, don't you think it's the love that has kept them? Because definitely they must have had serious challenges. I'm over. I'm sure we don't know some of them. That's why I'm talking the way I'm but, talking. Yeah. Because probably my mom will not share a lot. Because sometimes she just loves and says, you guys, you don't know. You don't know what yeah. what I've gone through for you to be what you are yeah. today. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm. I'm try, I'm. I'm beginning to believe that yeah. love it's could Mimi. be the yes, reason. Mimi, I. Me. I thought that something else could be the mm. reason. But Mimi, Mimi, trust me. You know how they say sometimes love wins in marriage. Yeah. I don't think it wins. Really? Never. Maybe I'm yet to experience. I'm young in marriage. I'm just two years. And tolerate. If it's not love, I don't know because when you love somebody, you tolerate a person. You take everything. You take everything. You understand. You forgive. I'm learning. You always want to, you know, give the person a second time, even when it doesn't make sense. Mm. Because I think that when it comes to love, and, you know, I'm glad, not that, okay, you're a Christian. I'm glad that yeah. you're a Christian. Like the agape love, the love that God wants us to have, we have, you know, um, diluted, diluted it. it. So the least thing with the, but when it's true love, because I don't see anything else apart from that love. Have, that your father, Muslim man, mm -hmm. your mother is a Christian, from and your mother one. is the only yes. wife. Even yes. if, let's say, fine, he had maybe girlfriends or side yes. or whatever it is, but your he never married. Is still, <laughs> the only one. Yes, it could be love. Nothing else. It could be love. Well, talking about it, I'm relating it to the Bible yeah. because love is the greatest. Yeah. So you're right. Okay. Now let's move on to back to you, mm. uh, please. Mr. Andani and Mrs. Andani, please let me get you on the stand for Please, I love you. Let's come and educate us, me and this chick. Maybe we don't know what we're talking what, what about. We are we're talk talking about because maybe they'll come and tell us something, something else. Something totally different. Okay. So um, you went to school in um, Ebri, Ebri Girls. I went, went to, to Ebri Girls. Holy Spirit JSS. Yes. And after that, I went to Ebri Girls. And after that, I went to the University of Cape Coast. Mm -hmm. And then I went to. Um, I went to Paris and Spain to learn language. You know, I can speak Spanish, Italian, and Portuguese too. 
I told you, you didn't hear me. She's annoying. I told you, you didn't hear me. And yes. why did you go and learn those languages? Because why can't I speak the language? I mean, it's there. Why don't you explore? Speak something different apart from English. Why can you only speak English? Just that. Like, go, when you get someone they are speaking a language, throw in and let them know you can speak it, period. I just want to shine wherever I go. So wherever I am, you can be speaking Spanish and I'll respond. The biochemist <laughs> who sings... <laughs> And um, <laughs> what? It's multilingual, not bio. Multi yeah, multilingual. Yes, I'm. I'm here to do French. Then I'm done. And so you haven't given up. No, 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 no. I'll do French at Mimi. Okay, bye in bye. Ghana. Mimi, why? Okay, <laughs> I'm not done. I'm not done. When I do French, then I'm cool. I'm like, do I know that I'm cool? I have all the strong languages in the world. Then I'm done. I used to even speak Arabic. I've lost it, but if I try, I will pick it up again. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. That's what I said. <laughs> so have you given up on music now? Uh, music, you, can, you can't run away from being a creative person. Creativity is something that is built inside. So once you start it, you're always a musician. You've just not released something. But not that you are not a musician or a singer. But you've just not done anything. But I don't think music can ever leave me. Yes. And I, I hope you don't you, you not forget the fact that I did fashion at a point. I, I'm actually coming <laughs> to recount. Okay, so from being a biochemist, you left it. You went to Big Brother House. You came to do music. Yes. Um, uh, you released how many albums? One. Only. Just one album. How many songs on it? Twelve. Twelve songs. And then that's it. <laughs> First album, twelve yes, songs. Yes, me, yes. Me, 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 me. <laughs> okay, so that one has been shelf. It was shelf for a while, and then you move on to what? Fashion. Fashion. Devilish fashions. Like, it was a great... That I enjoyed that career because I had the chance to work in Namibia and South Africa because I had stores repping... Um, I had representatives in Namibia and South Africa. I didn't sell in Ghana because, you know, Ghana, it's very easy to get um, somebody to sew something for you. So once you see, you take a picture, there's a tailor in a Ghana who is so good, who would do it. But in Namibia and South Africa, they appreciate it. They don't have tailors and those... Corner people like we have here plenty in like Ghana and Nigeria. I don't know the West. You know, we have a lot of tailors, but they, they don't have those corner ones. They just see it in a manicure and they want to buy. And so that's where I concentrated on. And I did very well in the fashion industry. I had runways in South Africa with my models and, and all that. Then I decided that, okay, this is getting boring. So let me just take a break. That's when I met my husband. When after the fashion, I met my husband. So I met someone, and he was triple restless than I am. I'm like, really? Do you exist? <laughs> like, there's somebody like me twice. My husband's own is, it's crazy, but people accept it because he's a man. Mm -hmm. And he's supposed to be. Uh -huh. But mm -hmm. I don't know why people think I'm, I'm not straight. Sweet. We are supposed to be like, we're supposed to even beat them. For yeah. me and my husband, there, sometimes we feel like this marriage thing, if we don't take care, we forget about it because for us it's always brainy com competition like we are always competing with ideas so this my idea is the one that we yours will know like we're always it's crazy and it's not helpful How did you i need I, I think i need um, a counselor <laughs> <laughs> yes because yeah. i met my husband um my husband was a marketing manager for frosty jack cider from um, the uk i went for him for sponsorship for my album Mimi. And then he fell in love with me. You know how love and hate, there's a thing line. Mm -hmm. And because he wasn't getting me, he made sure I didn't get the sponsorship. Oh, poor brother. <laughs> <laughs> and then so that he, I, he can get my attention because I'll keep... So what's happening? I was going to release a second album, which never happened because of him. Then I needed that sponsorship. Then I kept talking to him. Then he told me that, you know what? Like, we met, we started dating, talking. Then he told me that, he made me stop music. That's the truth. He told me that you're too much for music. Let it relax. Come back to it. Let's do something. Let's work. Even if you don't want me, let's do something. I'm, my, I ha I'm running a company simultaneously with my job. But it's time for me to leave and go and concentrate my, on my company. I'd like us to partner. 
So we started as partners. So we actually worked. He was he had opened his company for four years and I joined him. Then then that's when we started dating and, and now you have become the magajia of the company. Yes, my dear. Take was... another break when we come back, we'll continue <laughs> the discussion because at a point she even opened a club. Yes, Mimi. She opened a club. <laughs> we'll come back. Let me say thank you to my sponsors. GTP still timeless. They say our style is ageless. Our pattern limitless and our designs are endless. Our beauty never fades. GTP, timeless. And then Goyal Ghana, Ghana Oil Company Limited. Goyal, good energy. Ya, ya, dear. Adipa and Kasa. Now, my cloth today is also by GTP. And this is Adipa Dumas. Adipa Dumas. I mean, they come in various designs, patterns and colors, and, you know, they are all over. Make sure you go get yours. My dress was made for me by Ophelia Nyantechi from ABS Collections. Yes, she's back. She's doing amazing, amazing styles and stuff for, you know, young ladies, people of different ages. And I say thank you to her. My makeup product, always by Papa Cosmetics, and beautifully you know, applied by Nax Beauty Studio. Nax Beauty Studio. She's somewhere here in the studio, right? Say thank you. Thank you so much to her as well. My shoes today by Ayers Boutique Online. We take a break. When we come back, we'll continue. We'll find about the club, what she's doing now. And then she started some movie awards as well. Hey, Mimi. We'll be back. When cleaning your vehicle by valeting, steaming, waxing, or polishing, make sure the engine is also sound. Servicing your vehicle with gold synthetic oil and any quality goil oil massages the engine, removes deposit, protects it from wear and tear for longer lasting performance, and makes your vehicle fuel pumped. Made for diesel and super engines. Remember, after every 15,000 kilometers of enjoying your ride, service your engine with Goal Synthetic Oil. Goal is a champion. That's why I, Azuma Nelson, three times world boxing champion and a patriot, always choose Goal. Ashini Pankasa. Goal, good energy. Welcome back. Well, I was blackmailing my audience behind the scenes. <laughs> Welcome back. Let me say thank you to House of Foods. Auntie Vera, we love you. Thank you so much for supporting us all these years. We know it's a sacrifice and we are so, so grateful to you. Thank you to Cake Technique. You are amazing. We, we appreciate you so much. And we hope and pray that this Easter, I mean, people will patronize your products so that you know that your support for us is not going to waste. Thank you to Yep Cleaning Services. They make sure our environment is clean our washrooms everywhere is clean they've the studio is fumigated and we are so so grateful to all of them go got yogurt as a woman yogurt is excellent it's good for you so you make sure that if you have to take yogurt it's go got yogurt awake purified water the first ever charity driven mineral water in ghana when you buy every single bottle of our weight purified mineral water. They contribute some percentage to the National Cardiothoracic Fund to make sure the young people and people underprivileged who cannot afford surgeries are you know, supported to go and get the surgeries and their lives are saved. Royal drinks, always the best, very less on low and low on sugar. So these days we are all making sure that we get the right thing. Go for... Um, Royal drinks, they, they come in variety, variety. So, I mean, you get it all. My best, should I tell you? Well, maybe. I'm not selling one pasco. I'm selling all the royal drinks. So, well, Mimi, welcome back. So, there was the nightclub. Mm, yeah. How long did that last? Six months. <laughs> At East Legon? Yes, yeah, so very expensive. Oh, my God. But we lost so much. It didn't work. And no, why did you decide to set up a club? Okay, so this is, was what it was. Um, at that moment, you know, that was what was in vogue. You know, when you study the terrain in the business um, 
in this, you realize that the nine clubs were making aphrodisiac. All those people were making a lot of money. So we thought we should go into it and give them a competition, but it didn't work. So you work. did that with your husband? Yes, together with my husband. We were actually, we actually sleep throughout the day and go to work at night. But, well, it's, we didn't make what we were supposed to make versus what we had invested in. But I think that it was not a passion. We just went to do it. Because if it was, you would say, stay consistent yeah. So you make it. So yeah. we just decided, and my husband decided to set his branding company up. Yeah. Where now? Now that's not that's what you, I want to talk about. Now, now you set up. You are working with a branding company. Yes, yes, yes. I'm the operations director of my husband. Well, we are partners. Okay. Our company. No, make and sure that a, you are here. Sell the company, please. Yes, we are NMJ Ghana. We are a branding company and an event company. So with the event side, we organize Golden Movie Awards Africa. The event side, we're coming up with our own CV station. We have a couple of things at the event side. But with the branding, we work with only multinationals. And we are behind a lot of multinational branding across the country. Um, branding side is very tedious because we work in all the regions. Now, I've forgotten the regions again. We have more. So I'm yeah, convinced. I know, right? <laughs> so, like, we've not worked in the new regions. But then we work across all the regions for, for all these um, multinational companies. There's a lot of... Of work, so we try to divide it. So my husband concentrates more on the branding, and I concentrate more on the events. But we work simultaneously. Mm -hmm. How we work is that my husband is an executor, and I am the planner, and he is the deal breaker. So he is two in one. He goes to break the deal, but when he breaks it, the one to organize is me. Like I'm the organizer. When we bring this, we bring this, we bring this, we'll get results. After I organize, he takes it and go and executes and make sure that what he sold to them is what is coming to reality. So you, that, you know each other's yes. strengths yes. and yes. you work with it. Yes, we work with it. And we've done that for nine years. The wow. company is 11 years and he has done it for three years to four years alone. And I have done it with him. My husband and I dated for seven years before getting married. We are married for two years. This is our third year. Yes. So we are basically concentrating on work. And we are 11 years. This March, we are actually 11, 11 years. years. And, and, and you, 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 you've, done, you've done it now. So, I mean, why do they say that people cannot, I mean, partners cannot work together peacefully and successfully? I think we that... We have very few people I think that. it's difficult. You have to have a very good man. The problem is always the man, not you. Mm -hmm. If you don't have a man who has principle and has laid certain and respects you, there's going to be a problem. So now my husband has principles. Nobody, he can't have anything to do with anybody at his workplace because he can't disrespect his wife. So my, my husband also go through a lot of um, um, a friend says, sexual abuse. Yes. In fact, I thought that it was women who, when my husband and I started doing that, I realized that, Men also suffer. My husband has been abused so many times by women because my husband is 100% hot. <laughs> That's, I can tell you for free. There's somebody here now. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. He my husband, hot, hot, he hot, is hot. very, very handsome. When he enters a room, mm. that I know, if you see, you'll be like, oh, that's the truth. Mm. Everyone tells me, and I know it. And he has and they tell her as if you don't deserve it. Yes, him. yes, they're like your husband. But he's mine, he's, you know. He's Thank been you. for years. Thank you. Like my husband works, he has problems in the bank, bank girls. He has been abused in his own office. His worker came to strip. When, whilst I am in the office, my, my husband handles so many, so much abuse that he only he deals with it with his HR. Sometimes they don't let me know. He's able to manage the situation. Just two weeks ago, he told me about a girl who left the company and told me why. I was shocked. I was like, "Me tifia when you never cross us, and I saw that you're blind." They be out pre 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 pre. They never cross the who who. The woman, the girl abused him. I'm like, but that's crazy. She really abused this one. I was saying, "And call your bar opposite and come on, report." That's serious abuse. The girl will come and then be exposing her body to him and told him that oh she wants she, she's ever ready to be the second wife or, or to be being in there mumano then my husband has to call the administrator quick what's up here she's called peace peace is watching she knows she has saved my husband so many times she said he called he, he sends me text and said peace save me because she's the administrator who can enter his office without knocking 
So she would just bump into the girl and then they find a way. And my husband was scared. He said, these people can turn things around. To trap you. And then say and that you true. are the one abusing. He's so smart. So that's why he doesn't want to involve me. He wants to do it so well that the girl lives peacefully. And he did it well. And she left peace. And she said she left for him. So she's leaving. He, he managed there to understand. Say, Olivia, it will be better. They can do something than he, she being here. So that she, he said, I said, why did you tell her? that? said, no. You have to manage that. These people can turn things around and now say, I am the one abusing her. And so he suffers a lot. But then he's able to manage. So that's one of the things that is very difficult with working with your partner. A man who has self respect, yes. The, uh, and respect I, I give him that. Respect his yes. wife, yes. Respects the union called marriage, yes. And will not abuse it. And also, the, another thing is the woman. Now, this is the problem of the woman. If you have a wife who is extremely jealous, then she can't do business with you. So, the woman also working with the wife must be very matured up here and must have serious trust for the husband or else you can't because people work there they have to be free with their boss and if you are the wife and you are working there you can't take it then it will not work, work. for us i think we've done well so you need trust you need trust and then self-discipline and respect and respect you have three mentees here right <laughs> yeah. let me see them hello <laughs> oh start up let me see you. okay yes yes Three mentees. Yeah, they are from my... I You know, I also have this business hub called I Mentor UGH. Okay. So, I put together young people who want to be entrepreneurs. Some are even entrepreneurs, bad than one, struggling with strategies to whatever they are doing. Mm -hmm. And I train them. I help them expand their territories in business and increase sales. Um, pro bono. Okay, we pro are bono. Pro bono. Wow. Yes, I just do it to expand the business terrain because entrepreneurship is the way to go. And so there are many. This is just the few of them. So currently you're into the branding, you're into the event, you're planning on, on we are know, also opening, we are also farmers. A TV station. We, we also have a farm. Yes, my which... husband and I have um cat farm, um catfish farm. Catfish farm. Yes, and we supply most of all these big, big, big um hotels, restaurants, and then um, sh um, shopping malls and shops. Yes, yeah, so our fish farm is very large. We also export. Wow. Yes, yes, yes. Wow. When everybody is doing tilapia, you are doing catfish. Yes, we d deliberately did that. Amazing. Yes, because Amazing. we eat catfish. We just don't know. That, um, the Omode and Kwaina, our Kwan, yeah, yeah. they put it in the soup. But yeah. people don't know that that is catfish. So those who um, roast them and sell them in the market come and buy I from us. Them. And then they, they use it for some to now use it. Now, catfish is going to become tilapia. Yeah. People are now grilling it on yeah. with, with, I, I, with I lamb blend, chips and yeah, all I that. blend it. I mean, um, I blend it into a powder form. Really? And I use, yeah, I use it to cook for my baby. For my ah, daughter. okay, the dry yeah, one. The, the dry one. Okay. So the dry, I do one is, I buy the dry one and then instead of the, the usual herrings and all that. That's you blend what I use. it and become it dry. Dry, but yeah, powder. So I, I put it in here and put on, put on, I put it in a condom, a soup, everything I do, I put you it in. You need to have the NMG farm experience and I'll make sure you have I'll, it. I'll, I'll be there. I'll bring you catfish. The catfish will be beating you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. So on the 23rd of March, you had the Gold Coast Awards at Labadi at Labadi Beach, Beach oh. you know, hotel. And how, how long are you going to continue? Is it going to be a yearly event? Yes, it's forever. It's Once we touch something, it's for life. This time you're settled. You no, know no. What you're for going. the award schemes, you can't touch it. For like Golden Movie Awards What's Africa, it? it's been five years running. This is our fifth edition. Yes. It's going to be great. Right. Watch out for all the activities. We're going to have a film village. Film village is three days film watching of all African films. For three days straight. You can just walk in, watch, go home. If you come tomorrow, you continue. It will just be films for you. Mm. And then the award will come on 1st June at um, Move and Pick. At Move and Pick. Yes. Now, what is next for you? Or you think you found, you found your level? I found my balance, but we can always expand our territories. Mm. You know, you can always, you know, God created us limitlessly, but you know, we've not used our maximum capability. Mm. It's just like the brain. We use just a little percent. There's so much we can do. Remember he said he created us in his own image. There's so much we can do that we are scared to do because we think we cannot do. But once you started, you know, I, we can have like 
ten thousands of businesses and it will still work. This is how God created us. We are mini gods, and so we can do everything. So for me, I can never say I found my balance, but I know that we can always expand our territories. Young people watching you across the world today, what is the three things you would want them to take away from you watching this program? Okay, what I want you to take away, take from even what we've discussed today is one. My story is very haphazard, zigzag, and it might sound so crazy to you because you've been to a lot of events that has told you different. Because I don't follow what you tell me. I pick what you tell me and use it my own way, but not exactly what you're saying. saying. So what I can tell you is I let my experience guide you. But I know you're going to have your own amazing success. But just let it guide you. Two, I know for sure that you have to be a risk taker. That I will tell you. If you're scared to take a risk, you can make it. Yes, usra undi. Into usra undi. You say they be now why you stuck at one place because. That some of pepper pepper life, you know. And my own successful. You can't be successful wanting to be straight. There be if you're working somewhere five to get a side business. You can even have two side business aside working nine to five. You can't do it. Whoever told you you cannot do it is a liar. There's nothing you can't do unless you don't want to do it. So two is take the risk. And three, perseverance and patience. I'll bring them together. You have to be patient. Respect the process. Jumping the queue is why you are on social media fooling yourself because you want to jump certain hurdles. You need to respect the process. That's it. <laughs> Mimi, thank you so much. So I made much. it too. <laughs> I can see and you may be uh, you know, <laughs> Oh, and you'll be there. I see you there. I see you on CNN. I, I see you on Al it. Jazeera. I, I see you on BBC. <laughs> I see you on Sky. You know, I see you there. I mean, you have really inspired me. You inspired me. I'm glad I came. I'm really happy. Watching. I'm so and excited to be here. It's, it's amazing. It's, it's crazy when you are growing up and you're watching Gifty Auntie. And then she's interviewing you about something that you've... It's crazy. It's, it doesn't make sense, you know. <laughs> but I'm so glad because yeah. my parents would even be surprised. Like, they see me watching you like this. And I'm just like... Even though I wasn't going to be in media, yeah. but it just amazes me. That this woman is so different on TV. Why is she different from all of them? And today, for me to sit here, it's a privilege. It's an honor to have you here. Too. It's, you know... honor to have you here and i'm so glad that you agreed to come you know wish you all the best and god bless you for what you're doing for the young people in your life i know these are not the only three people i know you are mentoring a lot of young ladies and for supporting your husband and believing in him we pray for a successful marriage fruitfulness and you know everything you know when it happens that people like and yeah I pray that it will work and you will continue to be an example to many young people coming there that it can work, marriage can work, you can work with your husband. Just like your parents. Hmm. I finish. On that note, okay, before you go, okay. let me present this magazine from Golden Movie Awards. Oh, wow. And then our diary. Oh, so from now, dear, you'll be you. tired of invitations. Oh, so. you see. <laughs> Oh, Golden Movie Awards Diary, 2019. Wow. Yes, yes. And Charlie, then I'm your Yes. When it bring you and <laughs> Oh, that's, that's... Charlie, they didn't do smart things. So. <laughs> I will like. And this is it? Yeah, this magazine. The, first, yeah, the, the, magazine. the fourth edition. edition. Yes, 2018. Wow. Yes. 2018. Thank you so much. You're Thank welcome. You, we'll be back. I would say that working... Spouses working together... If you cannot do it, you cannot do it. I won't say it's, um, it's a, a formula that every couple should work with together. But I think the most important thing is that there's a certain relationship you build together. There's a certain friendship you build together. Look, there are times that there are some things that I want to get done. And Karen says no. And yeah, I'm the CEO, so what? You listen. My challenge is you don't see a problem and keep complaining expecting somebody else to do something about it. 
a lot of the times, the kind of problems, the things that frustrate you, you have been wired with a solution to fix it. Every success comes with a price. There's nobody who has been successful in life and has not had to pay a price. Even Jesus had to pay his, his life. Yeah. So success comes with a price. We've gone through challenges, we've gone through hard times before. But I think that we don't want to look at what is the thing we've lost. What we want to look at, what are we gaining? Continuously make yourself relevant because as you run a business, times change. Your marriage is changing along with it and so on and so forth. You can't get comfortable and say that, oh, I have a husband, so it doesn't matter. No, 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 no. Position yourself in the business in such a way that if you're not there, some things don't run. Right. So you are always relevant. Okay, baby girl, what's up? What's your problem? What's bothering you? What is bugging you down? Who is saying what? What's going on? Listen, rise up. Rise up and let's have this conversation. You see, sometimes in life, things don't go the way you plan it. But it's for a good reason. If only you can open your eyes, yeah, and try to look at the other side of the coin. Think outside the box. You'll find that thing you're looking for. That purpose. That one thing that you don't seem to be getting right. Everybody seems to be getting it. But you're not getting it. Everybody seems to be succeeding at it. But you're not succeeding. Well, first of all, some of them are pretending, you know. They are not telling you the truth. But let's put that one aside. Let me tell you this, baby girl. Sometimes you seem to be the only odd one out. Everybody's doing something different. Everybody seems to be different, but you are the only one standing out. I mean, you, 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 you stick out like a sore thumb, but it's okay. It's okay. As the odd one out, you know what that makes you? It makes you unique. It's all about how you rock it, how you handle it, Yes, you are the old one out, but you can make you, it can make you unique. And when you're unique, dear darling, you will stand out. And through your standing out, you become successful. And when you are successful, you become an achiever. So who is saying what? The old one out? How come she's not doing that? How come she's the only one doing that? Close your mind. If only you believe in it. If only you have a passion for it. If only you know what you're doing is right. Darling, close your mind to the world. Forget about what anybody is saying. One day, one day those people will celebrate you for your ordinance. You have the power to stand out. You have the power to be unique. You have the power to be successful. You have the power to become an achiever. You don't have to achieve where everybody else is achieving. You can achieve or become an achiever in what you're good at. As for me, you know me. My name remains Ohinei Giftianti. I'm a woman with super crazy faith in God. I know this journey that I'm talking about. When you seem to be the odd one out. I don't have to say anything. Today you know it. 35 awards to my name, the same gifty auntie. So hey, stop crying. Now lift your head up. Look at me. Give me a smile. You are beautiful. Keep trusting in God. See you same time next week. Bye for now.